Welcome to Log Me Once. I'm going to walk you through the dashboard and the navigation in this latest version so you know how to find exactly what you need and all the features that you have available in your edition. So in Log Me Once, once you log into your dashboard, it's going to look something like this. And you can customize this to show whichever features you want to have accessible easily. So right now, these are the eight that we have accessible, but you can change that however you like. The way you do that is to go up here to your Smart menu and you click on the Smart menu and that's gonna open up all the different features you have available in your edition of Logging Ones. And you can roll over these and you can see the blue star next to these. The blue star shows the ones that are showing on my dashboard. So if you wanna customize the way the dashboard looks, you can roll over one of the features that's blue, that means it's showing on your dashboard, and you can just uncheck it by clicking on it. So I might click on it like that, and that's gonna move it from the dashboard so it doesn't show. And then I can go select some other feature, like settings, roll over it, and click on the white star to make it blue, and that means it's now gonna show on my dashboard. So when I go back, and by doing that, I just click on the home button. Now you can see that settings shows instead of what was there before. So that's how you can customize this to show whichever thing you'd like. Up here you'll find the plus sign, which is the way to add to your account. So first you can add an app or a website, and that goes to your password manager, where it's saving all of your credentials for all your websites that you visit. You can add a group, which is grouping or categorizing your different apps or websites, so you can organize them in your password manager. You can also add a note, and this will go into your secure notes, so you can save it in your login once account. And finally, you can add a credit card, and that's gonna save your credit card to your secure wallet. And that way you can surf online with your credit card information being encrypted so you can shop safely. Next, you'll see the home button, and that will take you back to the home. So say you happen to be in Password Manager and you're looking at all your passwords, you can then choose the home button to go back to home and go back to your main dashboard area. The photo in the top right of your screen shows you your profile photo and it shows you the statistics about your current login session with LogMeOnce. And finally, the last icon is the log out button with LogMeOnce. And now if you click on any one of your features here, you'll also find that within each one, there's a productivity dock at the bottom of the screen. So here I'm in password manager and down at the bottom is where I'll find my productivity dock. And this is just another way to navigate to the different features within your LogMeOnce account to make it quick and easy. A neat thing about LogMeOnce as you're getting used to it is that when you're logged in and you're looking at your productivity dock, on the right side you'll find the tutorial. And this can guide you to whatever you want to learn about in the particular section of LogMeOnce that you happen to be using. And you'll find your settings, device manager, you know, as you scroll over these, you'll see all the different features. And that's just a quick way to get where you want to go. And again, you can always go back home and that'll take you back to the main part of your LogMeOnce account. And when you're in Password Manager, you can also add applications or websites to your account by clicking on the Add App button. And this is going to give you a quick and easy way to add a website with your login credentials, like your username and password, into your account. And you would just name it, whatever you'd like to name it. You can then choose the group. You've created your groups to group it if you'd like. You then type the URL of the site that you want to access, your username and password, and click on Add App. And that will save it here into all of your different applications in your password manager. If you scroll over this, this is your view. So you can view these as extra large icons, medium icons, small icons, or you can show them as a list, or you can show them as a detailed view. You can also go to your sort button and this sort will allow you to be able to sort all of your applications by their name or by the last application used or by the most used or by password strength for instance seeing which one has the strongest passwords and which one have the weakest passwords so you can change those to be more secure so this just helps you to be able to sort your websites and applications in whatever way makes the most sense to you i'll go back to the large icons when I'm in Password Manager, as you scroll up here, you'll also see the different tabs. So I can choose one of these tabs, and that just helps me to be able to view whichever apps or websites that I have in that particular category. So I hope you like this video, walking around the dashboard and the navigation and logging once. Please subscribe to our channel to find out more tips on how to keep yourself secure when you're online and how to use passwords without them being a hassle. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thank you for watching.